and just adjacent to the Sri Padmanabha Swami temple is another jewel waiting to be explored, a palace museum that has almost been forgotten. When the Rajas of Travancore left Padmanabhapuram at the end of the 19th century and landed in Trivandrum, they made the Puttain Malega Palace their home. Now it's not a very grand structure but it's definitely a fine specimen of Kerala architecture and has today been converted into a museum. It was never intended to be a museum and was open to the public barely a decade ago. This helped raise much needed funds for restoration, but the glory days haven't returned. Once the home of the royal family of Travancore, it now houses some dusty heirlooms. Its biggest USP, perhaps, is that unlike any other museum you've seen, no footwear is allowed inside and you walk silently through its terracotta colored floor, admiring the wooden slatted roof and long pool corridors. There is a reason why this place was named the Putten Malika Museum. As you can see, there are hundreds of figures of horses carved on the wooden pillars in the museum, adding glamour to the slanting tiled roofs. The palace museum was once the home of Raja Swati Tirunal, who ruled Travancore till his early death at 30. Today, only 16 rooms are open to the public, and among the first things to catch your eye as soon as you step in are the corn-shaped insignia of Travancore, and watching your every move, the man who once ruled here. Through one of the windows of the palace, you can spot the golden conical tops and main tower of the Sri Padmanabha Swami temple, which lies next to it. Raja Swati Tirunal was a great patron of the arts, and these halls once echoed with the sound of dance and music. The royal family have always patronized the arts and in keeping with that tradition they hold an annual open air music festival called the Swati Sangeet Mahotsav at the Palace Museum. You have the performers sitting on this raised platform performing to an audience that is out here on the lawns. The Putten Malika is part of Kerala's architectural wealth reminding people of an age that once was. Through its glorious architecture it's a silent reminder of the royal past. This is definitely one of Kerala's wonders, a many-splendor thing. <laughs>